Shall we get cooking? Yeah. Oh boy. As I have said, we are sponsored by HelloFresh. The ingredients are great. Full instructions here because idiots like me don't understand. Today, we are cooking HelloFresh sirloin steak and roast potatoes with garlic, tarragon and mustard butter and chutney carrots. I was going to say potatoes. We image here. This says it will take us between 35 and 40 minutes, so sit back, relax, and watch me probably mess up. So, step one. Step one. Get prepping, it says. This is like, this is gonna give us a full meal for two in six simple steps. It's all pre portioned. In fact, let's get the ingredients out. We have 360 grams of sirloin steak. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna be eating that. I hope. Uh, what else do we have? We have Bevue do unsalted butter. I love how it went French and then just pure Scottish. Uh, what else is this? We have dried rosemary. I'm gonna be careful with this because Anna kind of broke it. It was already broke. We got the Chateney carrots. I think we got to chop them up. We got some whole grain mustard. I don't know how I feel about mustard, so we'll see. A clove of garlic. Fresh garlic. We have Fairfield Farm white potatoes. Four of them. And we have some fresh herbs, also known as tarragon. That, that is all our ingredients. All, as I say, pre-portioned. Now, step one. Preheat your oven to gas mark nine. Fill and boil your kettle. Uh, take the steaks and butter out the fridge to allow them to come up to room temperature. That one can't go in the oven. It's fine. We're we're we're, we're gonna we're gonna play. Okay. You um, got this. <laughs> Luna, I, to be honest, I only use the oven. I never use I never use the the, the hobs on top. They want you to uh, boil the water for the potatoes. I will boil water for potatoes. Thank you, glamorous assistant. So, the water for the potatoes is going to be boiling. Soon, I hope. This will take me forever. Guys, I'm not very good at this. That water is nowhere near boiled, Jeff. It's well, time. It's not even centered on the hole. Is it not on the hole, eh? Have you added salt? Not yet. Uh, can we turn that heat down a bit? You know if you add salt, the water boils quicker? Nope. Yes. Nope, it takes longer. That's not right. Oh, that's very really good. Guys, we've completed... Oh, completed our first potatoes. Yes. Oh, we get bubbles. We get loads of nice bubbles. See the... Cook up. Dude, the handles on that are going to be so hot. Yeah. I've got gloves. This, this potato is actually going a lot quicker. You're getting better at this. I am. It's almost as if you practice, you get better. Learning curve. Indeed. Guys, potato number three. Complete. Next one. Four potatoes. Mission complete. Half a tablespoon of salt. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. That seems a bit right. So, what's next? Add the potatoes. Cool. Add the potatoes. <laughs> Whoop! I've got a bum muscle here. Drain in a colander and sprinkle on the flour. See pantry for a mount. I need flour? <laughs> oh no, I probably should have checked this out. Right, so this will be for the potatoes, as Samuel Kenji puts it. One kilo should be. Should I just put the whole lot? One one tablespoon for two people. One tablespoon. One tablespoon for two people. That's about a tablespoon, right? Do we have a second baking tray? Do we need a second one? Yep, for the carrots. Oh sh Guys, I'll I'll tell you a top tip here that I learned from my wonderful grandmother. Um you You don't have to uh, cook them until they're completely done because they're gonna go in the oven. So it's only until the edges are soft. They're not quite there yet, funnily enough. 
mother, if you're watching, um, she, she got a box and made made all this pretty simply. I'm just not the brightest tool in the shed. Sometimes it helps to read the instructions before you start. Yeah. You guys know me, I, I just do for stuff, I don't overly plan things. Unless it's a charity stream and then I, I do plan that properly. Cooking, I just go with it. No, take a zip. Please don't. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I, I, nobody can pay me enough to do that. Don't put much oil in the pan or the. Wow! Froster, I ain't reading that. Do you know what? I'm just gonna. Oh, no, just use like. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. Gonna improvise sometimes, guys. That's how you do that. Now these go on to the baking tray. With the flour. Make... You're dripping water on the oil. You don't Spin. want that. I want, I want don't shake minute. it on top of the oil. <laughs> I hope I'm on hand cam. Can you shake it Alright, your phone's locked. No, on the laptop. Oh yeah, it's, it's on that okay. camera. <laughs> That'd be funny if we just... Guys, we're getting more flour. Oh! Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. It's only supposed up. to, like, drain the excess uh, liquid so that they, like, fry better. You know, they are not need... they don't need to be covered completely. It's windy? Right, in the oven. Uh, it's supposed to... no, no, it goes on the... Yeah. Without the f excess flour, please. Mm. Right, now in they go. Thirty-five minutes, is it? Yeah, thirty to thirty-five minutes. Oh, it's two thirty. We got a traditional ticky tocky clock. Ticky tocky tocky clock. Does that work? That's a tongue twister. Chat, if you can see ticky tocky tocky clock, five times fast. Give yourself a pat on the back. Meanwhile, trim the carrots in half lengthways. Pop onto another baking. Told you we need a third one from the way you're going. Drizzle the oil, then sprinkle the sugar. What? Okay. Yep, that's enough. That is not a drizzle. But you put way too much oil there. I should totally use a new knife for not cross contamination, but I'm eating it all, so it's fine. We've been live for an hour. I am really slow at cooking. Potatoes have roasted for five to ten minutes. Pop the garlic parcel onto the carrot tray, most in the middle of the shelf. Yeah, me and Frost are on the same wavelength here. They're gonna. Oh my. Wait, did that say garlic clove? Parcel. That is this. Okay, fair enough. Um. Roast in the middle shelf until the canvas are tender, 20-25 minutes. No, you're not supposed to fry them. Woo! He's not supposed to. Right. But I do doubt that we should put the whole thing, because that's like the... Basically, I think you need some of that for another recipe as well. That's fine, that's fine. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Guys, I'll fix it. I doubt you too, but... Make your tarragon butter. We are number four. Guys, we're over halfway there. I'm going to drink more of my orange carbonated beverage. When about 10 minutes of cooking left. So what, what time are we on, Anna? 20. 20 minutes, right. So we've got 10 minutes to make this butter, right? Guys, it's fine. This is, this is just to add flavor. How much of this do we use? Eight grams. Yeah, we're not using this whole thing. This is eight. If we had put the whole thing in, that was twice the amount. Yeah, mustard is great, and this is whole grain mustard. That's not even spicy, so you. Be... Uh, once the garlic is roasted and cooked, cut the end with scissors. Squeeze. <laughs> See, I called it. I knew we had to put it in, right? Read this. Once the garlic is roasted and cooled, cut the end with scissors, squeeze it out of its skin and into the bowl of tarragon butter. Yeah. But it's already out of its skin. It's not. Every every of them is in like their own skin. Wait, there's double skin? Yeah. It's like an ogre. 
that's more than a drizzle view view of this because this looks like ditto. Can you see it? It actually looks like ditto. See like the two eyes and the mouth? Or is it I just see me? It. I see it. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh. Can we get our pan cam shot? Sure, oh babe. It is bloody boiling it in here. It is so warm in here, guys. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is, uh... Oh god, I'm scared for this Oh thing. boy. I'm on... Did that, you... that does not look good. Did you have that on, like, highest heat? It's the lowest. Why? Why? Do we need it, it on should, high heat? It should be on a medium heat. Last frying pan on high heat. Oh. One oh, hot, yeah. lay the steaks into the pan and fry until brown. One minute on each side. I would do... Lower the heat slightly and cook for another one to two minutes. I mean, hopefully you are having fun. Hopefully you are enjoying yourself. Okay, these potatoes do not look roasty. No, not, not at all. I told you it's too much uh, flour. You might also need the oil to like, get rid of some of the flour. It's fine, we're gonna have floury potatoes. Are they stuck to the... <laughs> Should be fall then, right? But now we know. you still got carrots on there. Carrots on there. Oh, that's right. And you need the uh, garlic for the butter. Nah, there's still skin. Uh, that's fine. Nope. It's not. There's more garlic left. Did you at least cut the steaks open and see if they were... No. Nope. They'll be fine. Like, you can have it all anyway. Did you... You could have like thermometrized it. So guys, um, bit of a disaster. But <laughs> we have food. It was meant to take between 35 and 40 minutes. It has taken us an hour and a half. We have pan fried steak, extremely floury potatoes, and really burnt garlic carrots. Taste test? To be fair, that actually looks all right inside. Not the worst. Yeah. Just get a nice wee close up on that. Or you zoomed in. That's not bad. That's what like medium rare? Ish? I don't I don't know what steaks are. Um It's pretty rare. It's pretty rare. Is it? It's fairly good, right? Oh fuck. That'll be quite chewy, I'd imagine. Now, um, choke on the potatoes. That one looks okay. This one doesn't look too bad. That, see, you can actually see a bit roast there. Yeah, because it didn't have flour there. <laughs> that didn't even burn. <laughs> you okay? Yeah! Woo! It's a lot of flour. And finally, a carrot. How bad is it? <laughs> I've won the bar. Anna? Oh god, that part? That looks a bit better. Getting some of that, that butter that I made. Buta. <laughs> uh huh. So, um. So, yeah. It's good, right? Uh huh. Uh, she's still chewing. Yeah, if I properly chew this, I'd be chewing. You don't need to zoom in. I do. No. <laughs> to be fair, that's not too bad. Oh. Yes. I'll take it. That was a potato, right? Yeah, that was a potato. On a scale of 1A, very flowery. <laughs> very flowery. And I chose one with a... Yes. That's a carrot. Try to go wrong with a carrot, surely. Go back for seconds. I'll eat the carrots. I think we should probably call it. But yeah, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you all. I love you all. And I will see you 
very soon. Bye. Bye.